back in the kitchen with Chef Ricardo cooking show. It's amazing to be in the kitchen giving you favorite recipe ideas and things where you can do at home. Anyway, we just make you a simple porridge. It is oats and cornmeal. Hopefully you will enjoy it with coconut milk and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much guys for tuning into the show. We got a lot more ideas and recipe coming here with it's coming up to it's winter. So you need some some porridge, you need you know what I mean soup. These ingredients very you know what I mean empty recipe is good for the summer, for the winter. Sorry guys. So anyway, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We are there for you. And also leave your comments below and subscribe. Give me a like. Thank you so much guys. It's amazing. I love it. So guys, today I'm just gonna make you a simple little car meal and oats porridge at home in your kitchen first of all i got two cups of water three cups of water in my pot right there and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pop some coconut milk inside of it like this and i'm gonna use quarter cups of coconut milk in it it's the cream one um coconut milk you can get that to buy at any local shop or supermarket guys seriously really good so that's the coconut milk I'm using right here. So I put quarter cups in it. All right, nice one. So what we're gonna do now, over here. Inside this bowl right here, I have quarter cups of cornmeal and two packs of oats right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop the oats inside of it just like this. Nice one. Some cinnamon. some nut egg that's a pinch of nut egg and some mixed spice it's a pinch of mixed spice vanilla a tablespoon of vanilla and a pinch of salt just a little pinch not too much because you don't want to put too much salt in it you don't want to salt your porridge then what we're going to do next is this use a hundred spoon and mix it up like this guys and next is put in some milk I'm gonna use roughly a cup of milk. This one is just a very easy recipe where you can do at home. Calm meal and oats, porridge. Really nice, you can put a lot more stuff in it. You can put like banana, plantain, and also you can put some arm on it. So, a little bit more milk, and I believe that will look good to go. Lovely. So, let's go by here now. Nice. So, right, right here is gonna pop in the mixture, and the water gonna be boiling now. Lovely. So what we're gonna do, just keep stirring it like this until you see it's gonna get really thick. In the next five to six minutes, it will get really thick up. Nice and lovely. So basically, as you can see, it's starting to get thick up now. And just continue to whisk it like this. And you don't want it to get lumpy, so you just keep whisking it.
So allow that make that cook for about, for about 12 minutes and then we're gonna sweeten it. Nice one. So and this I go on right there. Look how I go on now. Alright? So the parge on it will be thick. All I can do is add a little bit more milk. And get it correct. Just a little bit more, not too much. Alright? And sure you put a little bit more milk in it, that's fine, even fine. You know what you can go and do now? Is this. You can put some, I have some sweet condensed milk, which I'm going to pop straight in it like this. And I'm gonna tell you, you can use brown sugar if you like, but I just have some sweet condensed milk, which I'm gonna be using it. And not only that, neither, you can also. Sweeten and taste as it goes along. Plus, I don't like when my, my parch is too sweet. Love it. So what I'm gonna do now is taste it. To see what's going on if you want any more milk or sugar or anything. I believe that's pretty good enough. Yeah, I believe that is really good. That's I don't like it when it's sweet. And when you have a lot of salt and too much spices. You know what I mean? I like the only thing I would do is probably add a little bit more vanilla to it. Just a little pinch more of the vanilla. And even that's bringing a lovely flavor to it. Just taste the sauce or something. That's perfect. Turn on the stove a little bit more. I love that for cook for about four minutes. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. I like that. So what you can do when you cook in your porridge, sweeten and taste as it goes along. All right. Lovely. So load that for about 10 minutes, five minutes, and then make it more similar like that. Nice. So basically, it is finished. Yeah, and we're gonna just shear it out. All right. Nice one. So it's finished now. Nice and lovely. So basically, this is where the porridge look like, guys. So let's pour it out and make you guys see exactly what's going on inside of the bowl, right? Here we make a big bowl of porridge. I don't know you guys will love it. Look at that. Beautiful and nice. Get everything out of the pot. I mean, I left nothing in it for no one. I mean, now I give the water none. So, that's exactly what's taking place right here. As you can see, that's the porridge. Looking lovely and nice. And you can have this with some crackers or, you know what I mean, with a nice lovely slice of hard work bread. So, hopefully, guys, you like this one. Oats and caramel porridge, number one. Healthy recipe, good for you in the morning for breakfast. Thank you so much for watching my show. We got a lot more ideas, recipe coming here. This is from Chef Ricardo on the team. And thank you so much to tune in and watch my show, Amazing Porridge, this morning.